Dream Team. It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Max Verstappen is finally under pressure, and he was absolutely under pressure. And Imola or Imola, I'm not sure how you say it. I'm sorry if I said it wrong, but Lando was on his butt. I don't know what McLaren's doing over there in that garage. But they're figuring some things out. I got a feeling they're finna take Ferrari out of that number two spot come soon. God dang it. They might have a shot at the Constructors' Championship if Checo falls off. I don't think Checo's gonna fall off. I think I don't think he's gonna finish in that number two spot. I think he's gonna finish with enough points. And Max is gonna finish with so much points that Red Bull's gonna pull it out. But God dang it, McLaren doing something in that garage. They evolving. This season might be a lot more interesting than what we thought. Make sure y'all subscribe, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up. Let's jump in. Could Max Verstappen have a challenge on his hands for the rest of the 2024 season? A lot of people are starting to think that this could be the case. With McLaren and Lando Norris specifically, looking really rapid during the race and very competitive towards the end of the race, it's looking pretty good for the team, but is it enough to challenge Red Bull and Max Verstappen? I'm not totally so. convinced, but I think the signs are very promising, and I think we're in for some pretty exciting Grand Prix Definitely. for the rest of the year. Now, it seems to be that McLaren are very strong towards the end of the race, that real final stint. And mm -hmm. Red Bull seem to, I don't know, maybe slow down a little bit there and not really be able to keep up that pace that they have throughout the Grand Prix. Kind of like last season where it was pretty much max to the max from start to finish. I think max. the question is being asked, do Red Bull have a little bit of a weakness here? Is there something other teams can exploit? Now, I'm not fully it's convinced. I like still it. think Red Bull are just a little bit too quick, especially at the start of the race, just like we saw in Imola. Max really did run away in Imola. those opening laps and build a very nice, comfy gap. So I think relying on the end of a race is going to be a little bit too difficult, and I don't think that's... And especially with a driver as great as Max Verstappen, where it's like Lando's car, I feel like, could have caught Max in those laps. But, I mean, I think Max's experience and his greatness just, he draw, he didn't make any mistakes. He didn't make one slip up there at the end to allow Lando that that any, he, he didn't leave in Lando any window of opportunity for him to capitalize on. He just drove that car perfectly. It's going to have us see a regular fight for the win. I just don't think that's something that is viable and when i say that i mean i just don't think it's something that's always going to fall in the other team's favor there's probably still a lot of grand prix to come that are going to have max going all out from start to finish having no issues at all but i think where norris really excels is tire management and i think norris has always been a driver that can really push for longer than many others on the grid Agreed. i think he has that really good ability to put together a really fast lap when it matters. And I think we've seen that in the past throughout his career. And I think Norris is the perfect driver for someone that's gonna go for a second last or last lap dash for the win. So I guess that is on McLaren's side, but I think this is much more promising for McLaren. It just seems like really good signs. They seem to be improving and making ground as the yeah. weeks go by, as the Big seasons time. go by. And I think that this is more exciting for 2025 and yeah. beyond, especially that lineup they have. Their driver lineup is just excellent. I think McLaren are yeah. a really well-rounded team with a lot yeah. of great firepower. And I think this is perfect going into this new era in 2026. But yeah. in 2024... And I mean, I'm thoroughly convinced if, if Oscar Piastri doesn't get that grid penalty, I'm convinced P McLaren probably would have finished 2-3, dog. This is this is gonna be exciting. Even if they don't challenge for the number one spot, I think that battle between Ferrari and McLaren would definitely be exciting for the rest of this season and very interesting. Well, I think we might see a few more battles between Max and Lando. I think there are gonna be plenty more races where we see McLaren fighting for wins. They look really fast in qualifying too, which gives me extra hope. For them to start further up the grid is even better. 
it's exciting for more than just that reason though because i think we've seen max win so much over the last few years that it's great to just see a battle here and there or a bit of excitement yeah. towards yeah. the end of the race imola yeah. probably wasn't the most exciting grand prix but when those final laps arrived i mean it was edgy seat stuff you really yeah. were cheering on lando to catch max and get the pass done it's added excitement too because i think we've watched norris for so long be close to wins and stuff like that and now that he has that win from the miami grand prix and talents like that like your lando's your george russell's that sort of generation of driver we've always wanted to see them fighting for wins at the front and and just driving towards the front of the grid so it's good to see lando norris where he belongs in a way it's good to see mclaren where they belong i mean mclaren is such a legendary team a massive Facts. part of formula one who Facts. back in their glory days really were a formidable force and mclaren just seemed to be going in that right direction they're really a great team for all fans to watch and get excited about. Ferrari seem to I be... I really like Lando, I'm telling you. Oscar Piastri, Oscar Piastri is an incredible driver too. But Lando is probably my second favorite on the grid, man. I don't even, Lando's just so dope. Uh, I'm a huge Lando fan. But I'm a big Max fan. I came when Max... I, I started watching after Max had already won his championship. So I'm late to the party. I guess you could say I'm jumping on the bandwagon. Uh, but I mean, just to come in and watch someone be so dominant and so great it is crazy to see. Uh, but yeah, I like Lando, man. I think Lando's absolutely phenomenal. And I've, I've been saying if there was anybody that could be in that next Red Bull seat that I think could really push Max, I've been saying I think it's Lando. Uh, I do still think Max is the better driver, hands down, but. Lando's incredible. He in that sort of battle as well. Ferrari seem to have that pace towards the end too. It it's looking good, but I wouldn't say we have a fight on our hands just yet. But I think Max Verstappen is going to have some difficult races. I don't think they're all just going to be start first, finish first. I think we're in for some battles this season and I hope we are. With some of the races so, coming up, the next round being Monaco, this is a race that Lando can win, Charles Leclerc can win, Carlos Sainz can win, Sergio Perez can win, Oscar Piastri could even win it. Whoever gets pole could win the race. I mean, Monaco is that yeah. type of Grand Prix. A lot of the time, if you score pole position, you're probably going to win that race. It is just that Thanks. type of circuit. And I know that debate is going to come up again this week of Monaco being the most boring race of the season. As I say every year, this is the best qualifying session of the year. Hands down, I'll no doubt. That. It is better than the race for me. Qualifying is the highlight. And it is a very winnable race for a driver like Lando or Charles Leclerc. The qualifying session is going to be so exciting because I think there are so many drivers that can possibly get pole there. And this for me is going to be one of the most exciting weekends. I don't want to hype it up too much because the race might be boring, but I think this qualifying session is really going to get people jumping off their seats. Imagine if Lando Norris gets pole. Imagine if Charles Leclerc gets pole be and breaks his Monaco curse. There are I mean, it's possible. It's possible, yeah. Monaco, the, the track that is it, very, very difficult to pass anybody on. Interesting. So many different things going into this weekend for us as fans to be excited about. And this is why I love Monaco for reasons like this. When you have a bit of competition, you have some drivers really finding their rhythm now in the yeah. season and some teams really being able to challenge for pole positions and, and, and race wins. I think this is something for everyone to be excited about. Looking at all the races left, there's plenty of winnable races there for Lando and McLaren and even Ferrari and Charles Leclerc. Hell, maybe even Carlos Sainz. Look, we may not have a championship battle on our hands, okay? That's not what I'm saying, but we're getting a little bit of a sniff that Max Verstappen is starting to get a little bit of pressure. And I think because we haven't really yeah, seen yeah. this for so long, I mean, I think it's just a little bit refreshing and don't get me wrong, I really like Max. People that view this channel regularly will know my praise for Max is very high. But of yeah. course, 
I'm a fan before anything else and I want to see close racing between the most incredible drivers in the sport. So, That's you know it. what? Give me your Monaco predictions in the comments section below. Nice. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit like and subscribed. As always, I truly Got to make a prediction. I'm predicting Max. It's to Max's world. We're all just living in it. Uh, but it'll be very exciting. Uh, that, that qualifying session he's talking about should be very exciting. I can't wait to react to it before. Uh, but that's all we got. Make sure y'all subscribe. Ring notification bell. Get a video. A thumbs up. It's your boy D. Neal. Out.